Hi there, how's it going? Stuck at home? Me too. Social distancing? Me too. But liquor? Ah, I got you on that one. All right, so I've got some bad news. This high-end piece of stereo equipment right here has stopped working. Now, a lot of you have never seen this on this channel before, which is good because I've never shown it on this channel before, which means it's not exactly bad news, is it? <laughs> right, so here we are with this on my desk. As you can see, does it work? No, it doesn't. I already said that. Uh, what was wrong with it? Well, you see, if I knew that, I'd have fixed it. <laughs> Unless, of course, it was a circuitry problem, in which case I would have just thrown it in the bin. This, by the way, is not mine, but was given to me to fix. And it was unfixable, which is probably why it was given to me in the first place. So I took a plug off of another appliance, and that didn't fix it. And the original plug, um, the fuse was... Was it an inbuilt fuse? Was it a weird plug? I think it was a weird plug. Wait, it says Shenzhen on there. Let's just assume it was a weird plug, because I'm pretty sure it was. So I tried changing it didn't do anything. So what am I going to do with this now? Good question. Not sure. Does it open? That does not open. Okay. We have now got a convertible CD player, which doesn't work. Spring uh, is here, actually. I could take this apart and like, you know, take the laser out of it, but um, I really don't know if I want to do that because I just can't be bothered. However, what I will do is start taking it apart because I might as well, you know, cause we're all stuck at home together. I mean, you're not at my house, which is good. I mean, not that I don't like you. I'm not saying I don't like you. I do, sort of, some of you, not all of you. Right, I'm gonna grab a screwdriver. Oh, there's one right here. Right, so I've got this. Is this gonna open this up? Let's have a look and see what fell out. Nothing. Oh, there's a handle. Pull to open. What does that reveal? Wow. This takes C-sized batteries. That's awesome. I wonder if double A's will fit. Let me have a look. And I can also get this off my lap because that's causing me to sit like a weirdo. <laughs> Just a quick test to see if they fit. Let's check out these double A's. Pretty sure it's not gonna work. Oh, it might do. Are they fully charged though? I don't think they are, but they will fit, which is cool. I have a feeling they might just um, spring out and hit the ceiling. There's some tension behind those springs. Wow. I'm not expecting these to stay in. All right, so that feels to me as though it's a bit of a booby trap. I would probably rather not be hit in the face by a pair of batteries. At this point, I would pretty much rather catch the, um, the thing that's going around, if you know what I mean. Uh, the thing that's causing us all to stay indoors. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes, and what I've got here are four more batteries that I've given a bit of a charge to. Let's see if we can get more of them in here before I have to adjust this, or maybe should, I should adjust this now just to make sure that it's okay. Might just leave it there like that, because otherwise that's gonna pop out and probably whack me right in the eyeball. All right, let's see how difficult this is gonna be. Okay, well that's in. Hopefully that spring is touching the back end of that battery right there. And then we'll do the same to this one. And whilst I'm doing this, wow, that was easy. Just gonna put that back on, turn this over carefully, and let's see if we can turn it on. Where does it turn on from? There is no on off button, which is kind of weird. That was the base button. I don't know why I pressed that. <laughs> let's just forget about this because I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. All right, that was a waste of time. All right, gonna open this up now. There are these arrows pointing to where the screws are. Should be fairly easy. All right, caution, risk of electric shock, do not open. Hmm, well, this has been off for quite some time, so I'm pretty sure it should be fine. Either way, electric shock or not, I'm gonna open this up because quarantine. And this is not fitting in there. I'm gonna use this. Will this fit? Wow, just about, just about. Ooh, that's a long screw. Hmm, this one doesn't seem to wanna come out. Right, well, that's not a good sign. Look at how deep that one is. And also that one there doesn't want to come out either. That means I'm going to have to use this screwdriver here. Will it even fit? Yeah, okay. Now, the only thing about using these screwdrivers is 
well, it's basically impossible. So instead what you've got to do is use your fingertip and use a pair of pliers. And again, this time I'm going to use my palm. And there it is. And the same thing again. And there we are. There we are. So one last screw on the back. All right, so now it should open, I think. All right, so what's wrong with this? By the looks of it, I would say everything. <laughs> All right, so I've got an easy fix for this, or at least I think it's gonna be an easy fix. Basically, these wires are gonna go there like that. You see that? Hopefully it sticks. It has. No, it hasn't. What the hell is that? Let me try again. And now it's stuck. And we're going to do the same for this one. And because there's two speakers, I'm going to do it to the other one too. And now we have both of these attached. I've got to make a couple of holes for the wiring to go through and the holes can go right there. And the next one. And the wires go through, all right, castle. And the same on this side, all right, castle. And now I can put it all back together. Right then, that's done. And now we can enjoy the glorious stereo sound. That this has to offer. Right, well that ended suddenly. So now I hear you asking, what are you going to do with this now? Well, good question. First of all, I wish you'd give me suggestions rather than asking me questions. Second of all, I think I'd probably just take out the laser. Uh, I mean, it's there, so I might as well. And, oh yeah. I keep thinking this is going to pop open, but it doesn't. Right, so there's the laser, and... Now, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get this working because I don't have the proper power supplies to power something like that. There's also a motor running this, so maybe I can get that spinning. Now, I need a proper power supply. All I've really got are AA batteries. Nope. Oh, wait, I've got some 18650 battery packs. This right here is one of them. I've also got this. Also inside here, the tech deck has a motor too. So yeah, I've got a couple of things I could probably mess around with. Oh yeah, by the way, I removed the wires already, just in case you hadn't noticed. All right, so this bit has detached itself. What is inside there that we can mess around with? Mm, nothing really. This right here is a motor for the tape deck. Now, if I was an electrician, what I would do is, first of all, probably not waste my time on repairing this because it's poo. Well, unless I was being paid. If I was, say, Lewis Rossman, I would probably save this board and maybe I'd be able to, you know, come to some of these capacitors and use them in something else. Seeing as though I'm not an electrician, I'm just going to take this apart. Access the laser, probably not do anything with it, and then end the video. And I'm blaming all this on our current um, situation, as well as boarding. Wait a minute. These could come in useful. They are absorbing shock, which can come in useful for hard drives. Actually going to save those. Okay, so that's one. Now, does anybody have any, like, suggestions as to what I could do during this entire quarantine thing that's going on? And if you do have any suggestions, please suggest them in the comment section, because otherwise, you're gradually going to see me go crazy. And I'm already pretty unstable, much like this thing that my camera's on. Okay, so we've got all these out, and we also have the screws. Wait, can't I just pull this off? Might as well be civilised and just unscrew it. Right, so that's another motor off. All right. So the rest of this is probably just balls. So I'm going to put this back together and get rid of it. Put a few of these screws in and then bin it. Now, if there's anything else you would have taken off, let me know in the comments, because I want to know. And the rest of the screws can go down there. Right, castle. Okay, let's see if this works. Here we have a battery pack and here we have one of the motors. 
So I'm going to put this there. That way I can see that. And then let's see if this works. And oh, it does. Cool. Let's just pull this off of there. And the other one. And just so you know, I don't think I'm going to be able to do much with the laser. All right, so let's see if this works. Hopefully I can get it in there. Ooh, damn. Tons of fun. This is the sound a cheap radio control car would make if you go backwards and then forwards really quickly. Plastic cogs. Right, so I'm going to end the video here because otherwise I'm going to end up jumping out of the window. I want to go do something else. I might film it. I might not film it because I might jump out of the window. However, have a nice day. Wash your ass. I mean, your hands. And I'll see you in the next one.